it's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Monday, the 16th of October. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions with record or near record heat for the week ahead. Temperatures up in the triple digits. Yes, it's mid-October and we will be sizzling hot. Now, there are signs that the weather pattern may start to change out by about 7 to 10 days. But in the meantime, we are going to deal with the heat. So let's talk about it. First, the almanac from yesterday. Yeah, 102 degrees the afternoon high. 67 the morning low. Averages at 90 and 66 just missed that record high of 103 degrees and as we take a look outside right now here at 7 50 a.m we've got clear sky we're at 73 degrees at sky harbor dew point 37 humidity 27 percent the air is calm the barometer 29.99 inches and steady the upper level weather pattern across the nation features a big old ridge out here across the southwest and that is going to keep the main storm track to the north of us that's going to keep us hot relatively dry now there might be an isolated thunderstorm someplace across the state today or tomorrow but overall things are expected to stay dry we've got troughing in the east we do have a trough building off the pacific northwest coast but for now nothing to talk about here and speaking of the watch warning map extremely quiet some wind advisories some high wind warnings some red flag warnings up across northern montana but Boy, there's just not a whole lot happening across the country right now. And look at the convective outlook. No organized severe weather. The only thunder to be found actually across parts of Washington State. And the precipitation outlook. This is valid through Monday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix. Nothing statewide. Basically nothing. Again, a pop-up shower or storm might be possible across parts of east, central, or southeast Arizona today, tomorrow. But that's going to be about it sensible weather-wise. But when might this weather pattern start to change? We'll talk about that right now as we get to the models. Take a look. This is the GFS. It is the 06Z run. This is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Ridging here across the west and nosing up into the Plain states and across western Canada. Oh, yeah, it is going to be sizzling. And so what it all means down to the surface today, sunny, hot, highs 100 to 104. Record high for today, 102 degrees set in 2020. So we will pretty likely tie or break that tonight clear sky overnight lows will be in the 60s to mid 70s and then tomorrow more the same sunny hot maybe temperatures down a couple of degrees but we're still going to be anywhere from the upper 90s to about 102 the record high for tomorrow is also 102 degrees i believe that is set in 2009 so again we're going to be pretty close to record same deal wednesday Highs around 100 degrees, the sky sunny, the air dry, record high, I believe, for Wednesday is 103. So you get the idea. If we're not at records or breaking records, we'll be very, very close. And that's going to hold for Thursday with ridging still around highs mid-90s to about 100, maybe around 100 to 101 on, on Friday. Even into the weekend, highs pretty close to the century mark for Saturday. Now, as we go to Sunday, signs of change are coming. Now, we do see our ridge beginning to weaken, troughing coming into the Pacific Northwest. The upper heights come down a little bit, but we're still above average with highs in the mid to upper 90s with mostly sunny sky. But look what happens as we go to a week from today. This is Monday the 23rd. We've got troughing passing by now, again, mainly to the north of us, and the trajectory of this is over land, so there probably wouldn't be much moisture for showers or storms. Maybe a shower or two across northern Arizona, however. But breezy conditions and cooler temperatures would be the likely outcome of this with highs getting back closer to seasonal averages. And out here by the 23rd of October, that means mid to upper 80s for the highs. And then going out 10 days, this is Wednesday the 25th and a rather impressive upper trough shown to 
be sliding down the West Coast and coming our way, the upper low near San Francisco. And the GFS has been trending stronger and deeper with these troughs uh, in progressive runs. So we are seeing signs of a pattern change coming out by next week. Will that materialize? Hard to say for sure, but we would love to see that. Looking at rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS Ensemble, and this goes out uh, through the uh, 30th of the month, almost the end of the month. And again, the Ensemble mean under a tenth of an inch. The European Ensemble, a little bit more interesting here. Uh, the Ensemble mean coming up to over a third of an inch here. And we've got individual members that are showing some rather impressive totals over two inches not sure we're going to see that, but there is at least some of our ensemble members indicate a rather interesting and notable pattern change out here by about 10 days. We'll see. National Blend of Models, temperatures there, and again, a pattern change coming. But first, boy, we are just in the deep fryer here with highs over 100 degrees for most of this week and then trending down and maybe trending way down with highs getting back toward the mid-80s. Overnight lows getting close to 60, and that means many of us will be down in the 50s if this verifies by the middle and latter part of next week. And as many Phoenicians will tell you, right about Halloween or a week or so before Halloween is when the weather usually turns here, and it usually happens in fairly dramatic fashion, and that could be what happens here. And we, boy, we are just waiting for that. After last year, October was great, November great. All the way through March of this year, they just fantastic weather uh, for six straight months, and we would love to see a repeat of that, but we'll see. All right, that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name called Sweet Child Arizona. I'm talking about my Michelle, so go ahead and check her out. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, so greatly appreciated. Please be safe and yeah. Still telling you, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. I know it's October. Shouldn't have to be that concerned about this, but yeah, it's still just an absolute oven out there. And you guys have yourselves a terrific Monday.